is back and Amegadon is upon us for he has been reborn and with him comes hellfire and brimstone for Charit Beast aka Survivor did not only saw the anger in Plutonian's face but the face of a god as Plutonian went straight for Survivor ignoring others that are with him bashing him with all his might which shook the earth as Samsara whose body had been inhabited by Modius had warned previously that the Plutonian is very very angry the battle between them was so intense that Betunor fell to the ground as her gun fell to the ground in which Orion picked up from the floor giving her back her gun and asking her if her shooting skills are based around her powers or if she is a natural in which she refused to answer the question for she doesn't trust Orion. Now Betinor had her suspicion about this samsara for something about him was off. The fight between the Plutonian and Survivor continued as the Plutonian pummeled and pounded the living daylights out of the Survivor whom is beginning to realized that he had beaten more than he can chew for not only is the plutonian smashing the hell out of survivor but was bashing him continuously beyond the inner core of the earth through the fault line which began to cause tremors everywhere and this was a worry for cubit survivor tried to retaliate but it was ineffective for this was a different plutonian so he maneuvered himself to get away from the plutonian and flew out above the earth's surface in which the plutonian followed suit but it was a trap for Orion and Gilgamesh were waiting for him to surface so they can grab him and hold him still for Betinor to take a shot at him and they did try but the Plutonian was not easy to hold still. Out of nowhere Survivor gave the Plutonian a super punch which rattled the surrounding and caused a ripple effect which unbalanced the surface of the earth. Cubit, Volt and Kaidan arrived at the battlefield and were very surprised to see Samsara who had been inhabited by Modius to be alive begging for help from Cubit that he knows how to make the Plutonian listen to reason. But Cubit disagree. For Cubit asks Caden to use her powers to subdue the Plutonian and not to kill him. But Volt disagree with him for he prefers the initial plan of allowing Betinor to take the shot. And the reason Cubit prefer the Plutonian alive was because he doesn't trust Orion for he believes Orion has something up his sleeve. Volt still disagree with Cubit. Believes without the Plutonian they can still handle Orion at the moment, Samsara, whom had been inhabited by Modius, made a mathematical analysis of Volt subduing Cubit and it was 78%. So he told Volt that he has something that can calm the Plutonian. Without questioning his claim, Cubit asked Volt to follow Samsara to see what he was talking about and make sure that he is safe. At this point, the Plutonian blasted his way out of the grip and bashed off Orion, Survivor and Gilgamesh, which caused more injury to Gilgamesh, who begged Betinor to take the shot. Cubit was encouraging Caden to use her ability to the fullness and she did which took the Plutonian off balance. Now Cubit ran towards Survivor to warn them that their fight with the Plutonian was causing damage to the earth for the fight between him and the Plutonian broke through a plate boundary and it was setting off Swayzme events but Survivor thinks Cubit was trying to con him for he knows Cubit's intentions and told him he will only listen to his advice if he swear not to interfere with Ben Betinor taking the shot at the Plutonian and reluctantly Cubit swore not to interfere due to the fact Survivor used Orion to threaten him. Due to Kaidan's interference, Survivor was able to use his powers to try and hold the Plutonian down, covering his face and strapping him with his energy charge. So Cubit let Orion know that he has his invasion force which will strike Earth as soon as the Plutonian is eliminated. And just without objection, Orion was impressed that Cubit could see through him. Now Volt who was following Samsara whom is inhabited by Modius took him to a cliffside to show him what can subdue Plutonian. But before Volt could know what was happening he realized that this was not Samsara but Modius. He pushed Volt off the cliff. Trying to fly to save himself he couldn't for he only has one arm and he fell to his death. Betinor was waiting for the right time to take her shots and Cubit asked Kaidan to continue fighting the Plutonian so that Betinor can take her aim in which surprised Kaidan who understood that Cubit had always wanted the Plutonian alive. But Cubit, also like Orion, has something up his sleeve. As Betinor was about to take a shot, it was becoming hard to hold the Plutonian.
Plutonian Dam. And right to the ears of the Plutonian, Orion made his intention known that he was going to take over the planet Earth. As Bertinot took her shot, the blood projects towards the heart of the Plutonian, but Cubit used his time interpolation to shift and divert the bullet to hit Orion in the forehead, and then he fell to his death. While the Plutonian released himself from his captive position, heard the cry of Samsara, who is inhabited by Modius, for help. Seeing Orion dead, Survivor went mad at Cubit, and just by the dead body of Volt, Samsara, aka Modius, told the Plutonian that Volt tried to kill him. So the Plutonian calmed him down and flew away with him. The Paladin were in shock to see that Volt was dead and this confused Cubit for he was with Samsara. Devastated, Bertinot showed her displeasure in Cubit's decision to save the life of the Plutonian. As he wanted to run after her to explain his decision, Survivor held him back and let him understand that the burden of guilt on Bertinot rest on his shoulders and flung him away and went to console Kaidan, whom was distraught over the death of Volt. But what no one knows is that Cubit still has the bullet that can destroy the Plutonian.